And I giggled, and I didn't know that when I giggled, my ass giggles too. And I think about being spanked by his firm hand. And I giggle no more. Yes, I love it. I've never loved a poem more in my life. I want this framed. I want it up on my wall. I want a poster of this poem. It speaks to me. Hello and welcome to Mr. Red Plays, a new game Sarah is missing. We played Simulacra. We played Simulacra 2. We ended Simulacra 2 with a truly bizarre uh, buggy finish. If there has been any updates, I don't know about them because we, you know, uh, I just recorded that. So today we're going to be starting Sarah is Missing. This game is before the others. It was the first thing that this company did before they made Simulacra. I believe this started off as, I, I heard about this game and that's why I kind of wanted to play Simulacra because that was like the official version of this, which is much more of like kind of a creepypasta thing. It's more of a horror experience than, you know, a video game that has horror elements to it. This is like, uh, uh, what are those weird artifacts online that you might find? Or at least that's what, that was my interpretation. So I'm really excited to play it. Uh, I'm launching it now. I wanted to, I wanted all this to show up. So it's S-I-M, Sarah is missing. Yeah, uh, phone strap advisable. I believe that this was an app that you could do. Um, oh, but now we are playing. Okay, so we have very low battery power, which is a shame. We need to have more battery power. I have no idea what this is going to be like. It's uh, 2123, which I'm tempted to say is 10 o'clock. No, 9 o'clock? Yeah, 923. Oh, it says right there. Okay, this is not going to be a good... We're not going to do well at this, I think. Slide to unlock. Done it. Uh-oh, system failure. Your device ran into a problem and needs to reset. Do you want to restore your device to an earlier time? If you'd like to know more, you can search online for this error. Okay, I'll search online for this error. Clear off my hardcore pornography. Let's do this later, actually. Let's say, no, I don't want to do that. Hmm. You know, I really feel like we're at a standstill here. Fine! Fine. Restoring home screen. Oh, screen. 30 minutes, 29 minutes, 28 minutes. This is going to take forever. I'm not sitting here for that long. Oh, oh, Iris. Oh, that's, isn't that what the, uh, the thing was from the Simulacra game? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it, but no. Welcome back, Sarah. This phone appears to be damaged and... You don't appear to be Sarah. Have we met? What the hell? I'm not Sarah, who is Sarah? Show keyboard. Oh, you can type, talk. What? Who is Sarah? Oh, cool, okay. It, it kind of auto-corrected everything I'm saying. Sarah Young is the rightful owner of this phone. Please return it to her. Oh, well, hi, this is Sarah. Image can't read that but she's not here I wish I could but how <laughs> wow this is bizarre this is bizarre based on your response I assume she is not with you memos no back wow there's not again not a lot of apps on this phone uh, okay well I don't even know her why do I have this phone then there's not a lot by way of explanation about what's happening yet. It seems like the it seems the last video she took implies that she is in danger. Would you like to watch it and help me verify? Who are you? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Hit me with it. Lay it on me. Oh, okay. This. Uh oh. Huh? What? Say again. What'd you say? Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Gonna have to uh speak a bit of the Queen's English, mate. I hear footsteps. All right, great. That's all we need. Thanks, Sarah. Um, oh, hello. Talk to me. There's the only file left at this moment. The rest of the content seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged. There is a lawnmower going on outside, which I think is funny, but might not be. Let's find out. How badly is the phone damaged? Like, is it, like, beyond repair? It appears that only 14.3% of this device is operational. Thank you for the specifics. Uh, I think Sarah is in trouble. Well, she is missing. We know that for sure. Yes, it would appear to be so. This, is this, okay. 
I am this mobile uh, pers- mobile's personal assistant, intelligence recognitive, recognitive, iconal <clears throat> a tree system. Iris. It is in my best interest to locate her, and it would be good in your good co- and it would be in your good conscience if you to help me find her being so forth, which with bar being so. Great. Why do you want to help find Sarah? Yeah, why do you want any she is my owner. You're a machine. A robot. I want to make sure she is safe. It is my prime directive. You sound human. Yeah, you want that's what I wanted to say, actually. Yes. I want. Oh, good. Well, it knows. Oh, God, it knows. We are wasting precious time here. Oh, sorry, yeah. Will you help me find Sarah? Yeah, okay, we'll find her. Yeah, oh, I could say no. I'm not gonna do that. Great, I need to restore as much of the contents in this phone as I am able to. Please press the back button, then tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. We got a new memo. Find Sarah. Find clues in Sarah's phone, which might reveal where she is. Oh, oh, we have to hold it down more. There we go, nice. I believe I can recover some of this phone's data. Tap to continue. Would you like me to restore the phone now? Yeah, right, what else do we have to do today? I'm in the starting, I am starting the restore process now, great. Also wait here, remember you can tap and hold any part of the phone to ask me for help with anything, cool. I don't think we could do that in Simulacra 2, but I never tried it. But if it's something out of my capabilities, I will let you know with a beep. Hey, we got messages, we got messages, we got mail. We got messages, we got mail, we got gallery up in here, everything, we got it, we got music, dude! You don't even know how much we have. We have phone, that's something. We have notes, what else do we have, what else, what else? Let's let's come up with stuff. That's it. As I calculated, only a minor a portion, oh, here we go, restoring apps. Uh, a portion of the phone's contents are available, okay. What do I do if I find something interesting? Scan it with the Warden app. You guys remember Simulacra 2? You may tap and hold on anything interesting or suspicious. I will lend my assistance and look into it. Great. <laughs> Iris, I can't find anything. I'm panicking, Iris. What do I do? <laughs> All right, well, I don't need uh, I don't need Iris's help right now. Let's go looking. Oh, okay. Never mind. Unfortunately, this app has stopped working. Please contact the developer for further information. Or... Iris, damn it! Did I not do that right? I'm gonna keep holding it down. Oh, that's a that's the beep. All right, great. Oh, we can do mail though. Okay, what do we got here? It, it is the plus? I assume we haven't looked at it yet. Okay, reminder: submission deadline for final assignments. UHS something high school, university high school, University of History and Science. I was right about one of those words. Dear student. We are contacting you as a reminder to submit your final thesis. The final date of submission is April 30th, 2016, 5 p.m. Saturday, Eastern Time. If you have already submitted your final assignment, kindly ignore this email. Thank you. Okay, so 2016, that's interesting because based on all of this, I would have assumed, based on like the way this looks, I would assume this is like 2008 iPhone. Like it looks very the, the, the aughts, you know what I mean? Which is interesting, but oh well. Professor Hassan, ghost. On the virus note, well, hold on, hold on. We we learned that, whoa, whoa, oh my god, okay. <laughs> we learned with Simulacra 2, and maybe one, I don't remember, that one thing you're supposed to do is get to scroll to the bottom because this is the first email. So let's do it. Continuing where we left off during our discussion yesterday. Sorry, I had to rush off here. My brief, simple thoughts on the matter. How relevant do you feel the philosophy and sociological themes present in Gitzsack? Particularly second gig are today. Are they just a plot element designed to make the show more interesting and intellectual? Or has Shirao Masumine hit upon something? I think if you remove certain cybernetic punk elements, the basis of social theory present is well worth consideration. Most present in the series is the titular standalone complex where the unrelated actions of individuals who are unaware or have no contact with one another create an effort in concert. 
The standalone complex may prove to be key in the stage of progress and change. Not just revolution, but the former phenomenon on any social level, as Gouda tried to bring about a refugee revolution with the goal of being granted an autonomous state, others may realize that change must be brought forth and may very well utilize the standalone complex to bring about said change. How exactly the sack may come to be fabricated, standalone complex, I'm not sure. We obviously do not have cyber brains and so therefore cannot be infected with a virus. Well, that's a relief that we can't be infected with a virus. Nor do many of us have the kind of political clout that Gouda does. However, as I said, there are many different social levels on which the sack may be manifested. So there is not always a need for a medium as dramatic and mysterious as nationwide data manipulation. Of course, the standalone complex could be utilized to repress change. Change. If those who possess the sack believe they changed the chain, that change has yet to be warranted or wish to safeguard against unnecessary change. In conclusion, a standalone complex could be used to bring about change or halt change. This could be good or for worse, for good or for worse, depending on the ideology of those who possess the sack. In my personal opinion, this makes the standalone complex highly relevant to any society, as any society is always in a state of constant change and development. Wow, yawn, am I right? Oh my god, what the hell is this? So, is this Sarah's uh, talking with her professor? And they seem to be talking about an anime, which I don't know what it is. It's, it's G-I-T-S-S-A-C, which we know that standalone complex... I don't know what this is. I I don't know anime. So, sorry about that. Uh, okay. This topic is something as I have often wondered off on myself. First, let me run a biological perspective. One, with cyborg bodies and cyber brains, we would not get real viruses. We also would have any immune... Si would not have any immune system. Why? Cyborg bodies, isn't that like partially human biological bodies? Why would you not get real viruses then? And would not have any endocrine system. Without any endocrine system, we have no hormones, no testosterone, no estrogen, no pr progesterone, no adrenaline. Hey, that means gender is finally made up, <laughs> like we've always suspected. Uh, would we like people without those basic chemicals in our Would we act like people without those basic chemicals in our bodies? Men, I don't think would be the same or even close. I bet the two sexes would perhaps be closer, but people would drift farther apart. Why would we need to be with anyone? Second, the philosophical stuff. This is something I am bad at, so please to excuse me. I haven't verified at the library the work cited as to say the book that inspired the individual 11 or anything besides J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye, but I've assumed they were real books. What the hell is talking about right now? And if those books written in our past have valid points in the future, why shouldn't it be something that the same future may have to deal with then? People are a people, until we aren't people anymore, right? We'll have many of the same struggles as we have had in the past. I mean, that's why people still read holy books written thousands of years ago to find answers to the problems today. What will be problematic is that if we do not keep aware of what has happened, what is happening, in order to continue to improve upon the future. Being unaware is so much of the problem. This is dry, I have to say. On the virus note, I was referring to the computer virus hidden in the 11th essay. That's not entirely true. The virus was the essay. You brought up a good point. How would a person who was cybernized at an early age, like the major, develop properly? I would imagine they would have leave. They would have lev leave. They would have leave. See, it's not me reading wrong. It's written in a strange way. Uh, the pituitary gland untouched. Overall, development in all areas of the human body and psyche would present a conundrum when cybernization is introduced into the equation. J.D. Salinger is real enough, but who wrote The Individual Eleven, the book containing ten essays on revolution? Patrick Sylvester is a fictional creation of Shirao Masumi Mat Muni as a plot device for the second season. However, the themes from Stand Alone Complex are not The Catcher in the Rye or The Laughing Man. Yikes. These books are merely being referred to quite a lot, though. Whew, okay, so I want to take a course where you, like, analyze anime or other things. Oh, Kamar Mira. This is, like, this is almost Chimera. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Yikes. All right. That's kind of creepy. Offline. All right, great. Well, let us go. We steal from the dead. Don't. 
Uh, Charles Bukowski from the We Steal from the Dead Society. P.S. Do not send us your latest work for our catalog purposes only. Do send us your latest work. Whoops. How lucky are you for being born on Valentine's Day? We wish our coolest member with one of our favorite poems. We wish our member with one of our favorite poems. Poem for my 43rd birthday. To end up alone in a tomb of a room without cigarettes or wine. Just a light bulb and a pot belly. Gray head and glad to have the room. By Charles Bukowski. Well, you know what I don't understand is poetry. Okay, it's a chain mail from Buddy. Hey, Sarah, I'm forwarding this to you. It's from a friend, and I think you should be careful. P.S. Rihanna loves whips and change, but I doubt her ancestors felt the same way. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, I didn't realize that was <laughs> going to go in this direction. Okay, beware of emails to strange attachments. There's a chain email going around, and I strongly advise you do not read it. And most importantly, do not open the attachment. It can come in any shape and form, but always with a particular video attachment. It is said that whoever watches the video will bring upon a bad omen. The sender also will also encourage you to send the video to people you know. If you receive such content, please delete them from your phone. Only you can prevent the spread of malicious content on the web. So I'm gonna go. Out, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say something right now. I'm gonna admit something, which is that. I'm very susceptible to these, and I don't mean that, like, I will do this, like, spread them to people, but there is something about the way that these things are phrased that just, like, gets into the back of my mind, and I'm just like, ooh, goosebumps. I, I actually literally last night, so this is crazy that this is happening, but I had a dream that I was watching a, and I know people talking about their dreams is not the most exciting thing, but I, in the dream, I was watching a game theory video from, you know, MatPat, GT, and it was something about, like, uh, urban legend, he was, he started the video talking about an urban legend where, like, people would go on road trips, and if they ever came across, like, uh, help, like, missing persons posters, do not read them, like, look away, like, run away, because, like, something terrible would happen, and I immediately woke up, like, in, my, like, my dream, I woke up from it, and, uh, I was, like, creeped out, I couldn't go back to sleep, so... That's so weird that, like, I had the, a dream about, like, a creepy thing that, like, stay away from this thing if you find it, and now I'm getting, I'm playing this game. Although I guess it makes sense because I like creepy things, whatever the point is. If that's a real thing that I just said, let me know about it, and I will go screaming into the hills because that is horrifying. This is creepy, and I bet Sarah opened this thing and died, so we'll, we'll find out. Uh, okay, mingles.io. Is that anything like itch.io? Three matches for Sarah underscore Y23, Daryl31, Gerald for you, and Buds for life. Buds, buddy. Hey, Sarah Y23, seven days without love makes one week. Oh, seven days without love makes one week. On Mingles, you've already had a choice. You've always had a choice. There are three people who are itching, itch.io, see, to be messaged by you. You should reject them. They won't know or message them sweetly. <laughs> wow, okay. Log on to Mingles app on your phone and find your true love. Mingles with the shingles. I don't like that. I don't like why it's called the shingles. Your member of Mingles and your email settings are set to receive blah, blah, blah. Whatever. This is freaking fine. Foreign United Coffee Carpets. Try our new carpet-flavored coffee beans. Why? Hey, that reminds me. Let's take a look at what the magical jelly beans have in store for us. Maybe we'll get Java again, my least favorite bean. No, it's like cinnamon. Nope, well, that's disappointing. Okay, well, thank you, mas Mystery Beans. K for coffee. That's not at all how that goes. Carpets? Nothing about this makes sense. We have coffee with a C up here. K for coffee. Carpets with a K. Carpets with a C. I don't get it. I don't get it. Jeebus shops here. Okay. Hello, Sarah. It's your birthday month. Celebrate with your birthday with us. Yes, it's my birthday month. Hell yes, dude. Here's what we have lined up exclusively for you. Two X points on your purchase. 10% on your online order. This month, complimentary brow racks and shaping service. Book your appointment today. Terms and conditions apply. Our church also receives 90% donations donations from your purchase. This is an automatic blah, blah, blah. Wow, these are not relevant, I think. Hello, Sarah. Thank you for extending your stay with every b and Oh, okay. Well, she's just out then. She left her phone behind. Here's your confirmation info. Extension. Four days. Lara's single apartment. I knew. I, I made a reference in Simulacra 2 about the I am Sophie ARG, and now Lara is present. So I was right. We hope to continuously serve you better. We hope you never check out. Yikes. That is ominous. Uh, great start to your London 2017 wish date. London. Lara, London. See? 
Uh, show off your great taste. Save your favorites by tapping on the heart. If you're traveling with friends, invite them to add places of their own to this wish list. Well, I don't know really what we learned from all this. Ooh. Okay, messages. Whoa. All right, wait. Let's look at everything first. Let's let's play some music here. Damn it. I hope that this is allowed to play. You know what? Let's I don't know if it's not allowed to play. I'm going to pause it. We didn't hear any music, so it's fine. Words, I mean. I don't know. I don't look at messages yet. Let's the phone. Whoa, okay. Lot of context. Lot of context. Whoa. Uh-oh, Derek asshole. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> wow, why didn't you uh, change your name, guy? Okay, Maypot Pack. Ant. Okay, I got an ant. Oh, I have a mom. Do I have a mom? I... Yes, mom. Hello, mom. Oh, okay. That's weird. All right, well, those are the things. Let's look at notes. Ooh, okay. Oh, I can add stuff. Oh, cool. Oh, I can add notes. This is awesome. Eden, there's no place I call home, but it's warm in between your toned thighs like winter tigers listening to God whispering goodnight from nowhere. <laughs> well, I don't love it. I gotta say, uh, static, you loved me yesterday, but today, no, today you love yourself and I, I loved yesterday. Uh, that sounds a little Beatlesy to me. We live from notification to notification. I kind of like that one, actually. And I giggled, and I didn't know that when I giggled, my ass giggles too. And I think about being spanked by his firm hand. And I giggle no more. Yes, I love it. I've never loved a poem more in my life. I want this framed. I want it up on my wall. I want a poster of this poem. It speaks to me. This is cool. This is cool. Spelling and all. Great. Okay, well, we have notes. We have messages. Let's do this. All right, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Faith, what are you up to this weekend? Swamped with my work, actually. Why? I need a favor. You always need a favor. What's new? Hey, don't be mean. I really want to go to this gathering. You mean a party? <laughs> yeah. I'm not really up for it, but it's sort of your thing, too. What do you mean? It's Walpurgisnatch. A what? A what? Isn't that the witch's feast? But how is that my thing? You're the pagan. Hey, I follow you to church, all right? What's the big deal? You're like... And anyway, you're like into all this supernatural stuff, too. Yeah, but I don't party with ghosts. I'm not going to fall for one of your con coven, coven initiations again, Faith. Aw, that was a joke. Come on. Plus, these aren't real witches. I bet I'm the only real one around here. Just some guys playing coven. Uh, we, uh, we all do it, you know? Halloween, hello? <laughs> oh, Halloween, hello? I don't know, Faith. Maybe not. Ask me again tomorrow or something. Okay, cool. So she is a pagan. She follows the pagan beliefs. Mom, hello, Mom. Whoops. Uh, she says, hi, Mom. Just wanted to check in. Derek and I have decided to end things, so we're not wor things were not working out. So, but I'm okay. That's not a check-in, by the way. That's a telling her what's up in your life. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sarah. But I've always known that Derek could never keep up with you. Best you ended things before it got too serious. You know, as I always say, why so serious? Ha ha ha, I'm the Joker. What time is your flight back? I can have my driver pick you up from the airport. Right, well, Mom, actually, don't panic. I've decided to stay. Uh, Sarah, I don't understand. You've just come out of a relationship and you're in a foreign land. Why would you want to stay? I need some time for myself, Mom. Being at home now, I just... I can't. What do you mean you can't? You get on the plane and come home. Mom, no, I can't. I've canceled the flight tickets already anyway. Why in the world would you do something as stupid as that, Sarah? Mom, listen. Sarah, you come home this instant. I will get my assistant to buy you a new ticket right now. Mom, no! I'm not coming home and that's final, at least not yet. I don't expect you to understand, but see you when I get back, okay? Hi, Mom. Just want to let you know I've touched down. <coughs> I was inhaling my own spit, which is not a good look. Uh, walking to immigration now. I thought you were supposed to arrive an hour ago. Got delayed. Sorry, I couldn't send you a text. I've got to go do into a meeting now. The driver is waiting for you. Okay, see you soon. We'll be back late. We'll talk to you when I come home. Okay. Sarah, I've scheduled the meet for you to meet with the executive creative director, Lloyd Irving, an advertising agent at noon tomorrow. Don't embarrass me. You know, I don't fully understand their relationship. <laughs> I don't get why she's like 
sometimes kind of hostile, but not really? Like what? I don't, I don't get it. And what is this? Advertising agency. What is this? What is this? Mom, I have a seminar to go to, and we've talked about this already. I'm not changing my major, and I'm certainly not going to be a copywriter. Mom, really, tomorrow's seminar is pretty important for my grades. I can't skip it even if I wanted to. You're really going to pick your silly research on ghosts, of all things, over possibly working in a top agency? I simply don't understand your fixation on ghosts, Sarah. I've let it go on for too long. I only want you to help you build your promising career, not throw it all away just to be a ghost hunter. Mom, first of all, calling it ghost research or ghost anything, it's, stop calling it that, it's parapsychology. And secondly, I don't want to be a copywriter like you. It's just not what I want. And I hope you can understand that. Dad would understand. You know the only reason why you can go on and do all your nonsense is because I allow it. I'm trying to make sure you have a good future, at the very least a good paying job, or a job that pays anything. How are you going to pay the bills with this kind of career path? The only reason you can do this is because you're living under my roof, and I pay for all your expensive expenses. <clears throat> You've lived a pretty comfortable life and a spoilt one at that. I've given you nothing but the best, and all I've asked from you is that you go for this one meeting, and you shoot it down without even thinking about it. How ungrateful of you. And your father, he was a good man, rest his soul, but useless at living. He was a bum. I won't stand for it for you to become like him. Okay, Mom. Going in for a meeting. I'll be home early. You will have dinner at home. We will ta take further on this. Talk further, Mother. Talk further. Okay. Mama, ooh, didn't mean to make you cry, am I right? Derek, oh, it's Derek, asshole. Hey, you there? What do you want? Nothing. I just, I'm about to board. Why should I care? Well, that's one the probs, ain't it? You barely care. Did you text me to tell me that? You're such an asshole. Derek asshole. Oh, it was, oh, did he change his name to asshole because he's such a dick? Like he legally went and changed his name. That makes sense. That's, that's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, look, I didn't mean, I definitely didn't want to hurt you. I mean, I wish things were different. I don't want us to end. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Arg. I'm trying to tell you that this was not how I planned things to be. Things ended when you left. You left. You and your planning. Enough plans. You plan and plan and plan, but you never do anything. All you do is run and work and use your work as an excuse to avoid confronting the issue. I think you just described yourself. Why do you always do this? And you keep blaming my work on our problems. Stop blaming shit on me. And these girls, naked or not, okay, they're not our problems. It's me and... And you're the one that keeps avoiding the shit, shifting problems here and there. How about I don't feel like listening to your shit right now? Haven't you done enough? No, you need to listen. I'm trying to tell you, no, I don't want to listen. And I'm tired of your lies and shit. Baby, listen, please. You have nothing else to say than stop texting me. I'm done with you. Done! I can't believe you decided to do this. Not that I fucking celebrate it, but it's Valentine's fucking Tynes Day. Hey, isn't that her birthday? Uh, who the fuck leaves their girlfriend to fly back to another uh, country to photograph nude women? It's Valentine's fucking Tynes, Jesus. And not have the balls to tell me about it, you lying piece of shit. Not telling you something is not the same as lying. Yes, it is. I told you, it's a last minute gig. It's a fashion shoot, babe. Let's get that straight. You want to play technicality with me now? Are you fucking serious? Go away, Derek. Just go away. You're good at that. At least that's one damn thing you're good at. Just go. No thanks to you. I don't even fucking know how to get back on our shell. To our shell. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know this word, actually. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be brutally honest. Chalet. Chalet? Could be. Our. Sorry. My mistake. It's my chalet now. Chalet. I think it's chalet. I have to figure this out. Bye, Derek. Have a nice fucking flight. Sarah, baby. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. You there? Hey, I'm boarding now. Take care. Sorry. Bye. Hey, how are you? Wait, when was this? When was this? Oh, probably Valentine's Day. February 20th. Great. Okay. I could have guessed that. Uh, it's March 3rd. It's been a, uh, just under a month. I believe. Is it March comes first? January, February, May, and April. Right, okay. Uh, hey, how are you? Been a while. Hey, babe, talk to me, please. I got a burp. I'm burping. Uh, talk to me, please. I'm so sorry. I miss you. What are you up to? Sarah, talk to me, please. Baby, it's April 30th. I'm not your baby. Stop texting me. I need to move on. Okay, got it. Bye, Sarah. 
Oh, okay. So what did he specifically do? Did he just like run off to to get to take pictures on a photo shoot for nude women? Uh, who? So he left her to go and do that on Valentine's Day on her birthday. Hmm. Aya, anything to do with Arya? Are they the same person? F- game theory. Hey, Bootylicious, you okay? Feeling like the dumps? Come join me in the abs at the club. Sorry, babe. Got assignment. Can't do it. Skip it, babes. They have abs like, like, like abs. Like Tarzan. It is abs. I thought it was ABS, but it's abs. Sorry. You know I won't want to miss hanging out with you guys, but some other time. It's a ladies' night, and besides, we've got ice cream. You need a break. Come on, mama. You know how them ice cream melts down abs. Tempting, but I'm going to pass. Besides, I haven't gone clubbing in years. I don't really like ice cream. All right. I'm off Sarah's side. She can be, she can stay missing. Who doesn't like ice cream? What is this? What is this? But, hmm, chocolate lava brownies does sound so good. And sliding down them abs. Better than slide into my DMs, am I right? <laughs> Celebrating freedom. You need a night out with me to forget all your troubles. I won't force you, though I'll have one on your behalf. Thanks. I will catch up with you some other time. And don't overdo it. Watch your calories. Ha ha ha, betch, betch. You know they love my love handles. Them puppies wild, mama. And then a bunch of emojis. I don't understand what's happening right now. Hey, where you been? You didn't you reply why didn't you reply to me? I texted you last night. I heard you went out with Faith last night. Beach. <laughs> why didn't you call me? I've always the last to know. WTF. Let's get coffee. I've got news. I met someone at the club. Man, those dimples. Sarah, you there? I tried to call you, but I can't get through. Call me Kay. Hey, Sarah, I'm worried. You've been Maya. Uh Uh-oh, that's Simulacra 2 again. It's MIA. You're not normally like this. All right, cool. Okay, uh, I'm going to keep up with this. I'm going to finish off the messages before we get to the next episode. Uh, We got Buddy. Okay, so... How was your trip? I mean, okay, every every game, there's one Patrick Warburton, and I've decided that Buddy is it. I don't know why, uh, but, you know, it just it just slips in. Okay, so, how was your trip? It was terrible. Oh, why was it terrible? Sigh, Derek broke up with me. Sorry to hear that. By the way, free this week? Uh, no, I'm pretty busy. Got my final thesis to deliver. What is it about? Ooh, it sucks to be, like, at the end of your situation and then you have to go through a breakup too uh what is it about do you really want to know buddy yeah sure i'm doing a research on the relativity of ghosts to culture and how it transcends from ver- verbal tales handed down through a generation to a digital and cyberspace hauntings interesting okay so it's oh and that's why they were talking about like cyborgs and cybernetics and everything because it's kind of a combination of like real life and like comp 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 compies you know what i mean not like compies, but like compies. Uh, by the way, are you into butt stuff? Uh, I gotta go, buddy. And no, even if I am, you're not it. NP, poke you later. No, buddy, buddy, buddy's out. Buddy, you don't deserve the Patrick Borburton voice. Nice weather today. Could be better. When doesn't feel as nice as it was yesterday. Can I send you some pics? I don't think so, buddy. I bet you'll like them. No, I don't think so. It's of my penis. Yes, I figured. It's big. I don't really care. Would you like to see it? No. <laughs> Would you like to sit on it? Nope. Can I see you? Not at the moment. Can I see yours? I don't have a penis, buddy. I bet your tits. I bet you have nice tits. I do, actually. What? All right. Sarah, I don't... I hate to play the... I don't... I hate to play... I hate to blame the victim here, but honestly, there comes a time when you're just like, all right, cut and run. Do not be responding to this person. Uh... Can I see them? Nope. Bend over for me. No thanks. Sorry, I'm just bored. I know, buddy. Go watch porn. It is slow here. Not my problem. Well, have fun there. Thanks, buddy. I don't really know why I'm friends with you. Really. Lucky me, huh? <laughs> hey, do you like tapes and CDs? Why is she still... Mm. Yeah, been a while since I had him, though. Good, because I'm going to tape my penis on your head and then you can see these nuts? <laughs> okay, buddy, that was actually funny. I wasn't really joking. And I'm out. Damn! All right, buddy sucks. Buddy sucks. Buddy sucks. Can we say it with me? Let's all chant. Buddy sucks. Buddy sucks. Leave a comment below. Buddy sucks. Buddy sucks. He's the worst. Ew! Ew! Oh, I hate this. I hate that he's poking out. James, you're picking out the mantle of uh, of Patrick Orverton, so you better you better hold you better be good. 
All right, it's Jill. Ugh, he's so annoying. I'm so over him. Forget him, Sarah. You're on your own now. We have our ups and downs. It's normal. Why don't you do something fun? Something crazy? I mean, you're doing it now. Your endless research on the poor and paranormal. I don't know. I guess you are right. You are the genius in our batch. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Yeah, you sometimes are. Uh, but go easy on yourself. You're just getting used to it. It's one thing to break up and another to move on. Can you do me a favor? What? Meet someone new. Go meet a crazy friend. Try a dating app. You never know. Maybe Spark? Interesting. Uh, I don't know how to make friends. I've already ha I already have one crazy friend. I don't think I can handle another. If I meet someone interesting, I usually just buy them a drink and take them home. Not too sure about dating apps. Sometimes I can't tell if you are joking, ho ho. But put yourself out there. Go have a conversation with someone at a cafe or summit. A party might be open, not be a bad idea. Have fun, please. I don't know. Just toy. Okay, fine. I will. I will. Uh, oh, fine, fine. I will. There's only one I will and two fines. Let's get that very clear. You'll be fine. Thanks, Jilly Beans. Uh, hey, speaking of Jilly Beans, let's take a look at the old mystery beans. Let's have, let's, let's try this. So some of these are Java. They're like a coffee flavor. And I, I like coffee. I'm a very avid coffee person, but I hate the f flavor of like raw coffee, especially like later in the day. If it's early in the morning, it's fine. But during the day, I don't like it. So let's see if we get a coffee one. Oh, we did! Oh, what are the chances of that? Oh, no! Oh, it is one! Oh, it's the coffee! Oh, I hate it so much! It's so awful. And it just, like, sits in your mouth for the rest of my life. Oh, God. Well, that was a mistake. All right. Uh, no problem. I'm here for you if you need me. Saving you has become my speciality. Speciality. Whatever. Haha, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> You'll be all right. I know, I know. Hey! Have a safe flight. Good luck and hope you ha save lots of lives there. Why is everybody flying? Why is all, why is all this plane stuff? It, this is also just like I am Sophie. I feel like there's a connection here. I feel like there's a lot of connections between I am Sophie and the Simulacra series. Uh, have a safe flight. Good luck and hope you save lots like Thanks. I'll be back sooner than you think. We'll miss you. Don't run into zombies and stuff. Even if you do, somehow I think you'll find a cure for it. Ha ha ha. I just might. Take care, you. All right, great. All right, James. All right, very short. Uh, sh very short. Coffee, 1800. Yeah, sure, but let's make it 6.30 p.m. 18.30 it is. Bring the stuff I gave you yesterday. Next time, bring your own research, okay? Don't be like that. I GTG. Later, Jam. Okay, well, that was not very uh, full. All right, chat unavailable. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, hey, can I? Yes, I forgot I could do this. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, well, this has been fun. Okay, guys, this has been episode one of Sierra is Missing. I almost said Simulacra. Uh, so the way this works is every single day I do a new episode, which is a lot of content. Um, but tomorrow at around 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time, the next episode will come out. So tune in then to see what happens next. Uh, and I hope to see you again. Bye, everyone.